in this video, we are going to consider chain rule with double inner function. It's recommended you watch chain rule with one inner function. This formula is for chain rule with one inner function. This formula is for chain rule with double inner function. If du cancels du and dk cancels dk, you're going to be left with dy dx. Chain rule symbolizes a function that is chained to other functions. For double inner functions, we denote the first inner function with u and we denote the second inner function with k. In this video, you will be able to learn how to identify the first inner function and the second inner function. Then use this formula to complete the solution. Let's find the derivative of this question. The first step is to rewrite this question. Recap that the square root of 16 is the same thing as 16 to the power of half, which is equal to 4. Hence, instead of this, we are going to solve this. Both are the same. Next, 7x can exist on its own. Hence, we call it u. Next, sine u can exist on its own. Hence, we call it k. And lastly, we can have that y is k to the power of 1 over 2. With this in mind, u is equal to 7x. Next, let k be equal to sine u. Next, y will be equal to k to the power of 1 over 2. This is u and this is x. And we are going to have du dx. Next, this is k and this is u and we are going to have dk du this is y and this is k and we have dy dk next differentiate 7x and your answer is 7 next differentiate sine u and your answer is cos u next differentiate k to the power of 1 over 2 and your answer is 1 over 2 k to the power of minus half according to the general rule for derivative likewise always remember the basic derivative table here when you differentiate sine x you're going to get cos x if you differentiate sine u you're going to get cos u next we are going to multiply our results according to chain rule formula with double inner function and it doesn't matter how you want to rewrite the inner function formula you will still obtain your dy dx next we have just applied the chain rule formula next we are going to simplify our results and replace the value of u and k. Next, we have just replaced u and k. According to our initial assumption. Next, we replace the value of u. Replacing the value of u and k, this is our dy dx. Using the shortcut approach, our dy over the x is the first step is to bring this down, which is 1 over 2. Next, differentiate everything inside this bracket using chain rule. 
which is 7 cos 7x. Next, we copy back everything inside the inner function, which is sine 7x. That is, both the first inner function and the second inner function. Next, the half at the power will minus 1 according to the general rule. And this is our dy dx, which is same as we obtained earlier. From the options, our answer is C. Next, let's consider this question. Let's identify the first inner function, which is u. And everything here becomes k. Next, this is u and this is x. Hence, we have du dx. Next, this is k and this is u. And we have dk du. This is y and this is k. And you have dy dk. Next, differentiate 3x. And you are going to get 3. Next, differentiate 2 cos u plus 1. And you are going to get minus 2 sin u. Which is the derivative of 2 cos u. If you differentiate 1, you are going to get 0. However, we are going to let the 0 out. Next, differentiate the natural log of k. And you are going to get 1 over k. Next, we are going to multiply the 3 results. According to chain rule formula with double inner functions. Next, multiply the three functions and replace the value of u and k. Next, because of the presence of this plus 1, these two cannot cancel the 6. And this becomes our dy dx. Using the shortcut method, differentiate 2 cos 3x plus 1. And you have minus 6 sine 3x. Next, for natural log, you bring down everything in front of the natural log without the natural log itself. And this is our dy dx, which is same as we obtained earlier. From the options, our answer is A. Next, consider this question. Before we solve this problem, remember that sine squared x is the same thing as sine x in bracket all squared. Hence, instead of this, we can rewrite it to look like this. Next, sine x will now be equal to u. Next, k will now be equal to u to the power of 2. Then, y will be equal to n k. This is u and this is x. And we have du dx. This is k and this is u. And we have dk du. This is y and this is k. And you have dy dk. Next, differentiate sine x. And you are going to get cos x. Next, differentiate u to the power of 2. And you are going to have 2u. Next, differentiate the natural log of k. When you differentiate the natural log of x, you are going to get 1 over x. Here, you are going to get 1 over k. Next, we are going to multiply the three results. 
replacing back our K and our U. According to chain rule formula with double inner functions. Hence, we are multiplying each of these to obtain our dy dx, which is each of these values. Next, after multiplying each of these functions, we replace the values of our u and k from our initial assumptions. u is sin x, while k is u squared, and u squared is sin squared x. Next, one of this sin x, we take away one of this sin x. And you now have 2 cos x divided by sin x. However, cos x divided by sin x has an identity trigonometric function. From the basic trigonometric identity functions, cos x divided by sin x is equal to cot x. Always remember these identity functions. Hence, 2 cot x becomes our dy dx. And this is our answer. Using the shortcut method, the first step, bring this down, which is 2. Next, differentiate sin x and you're going to get cos x next bring back the inner function which is sin x next these two are the power with minus one next differentiate the natural log and you're going to have one divided by everything in front of the natural log which is sin squared x or sin x all squared. Next, sin x, we take away one sin x here. And we have 2 cos x divided by sin x. Next, cos x divided by sin x is equal to cot x. And this becomes our dy dx which is same as we obtained earlier. From the options, our answer is B. Consider this question. This is U and everything here is K. Differentiate exponential X and you're going to get exponential X. Next, differentiate sin u and you're going to get cos u next differentiate cos k and you're going to get minus sin k next we're going to multiply our results according to chain rule with double inner functions remember to replace the u and the k in the final result Next, multiply the results. Substituting for u and for k, this is our dy dx. Remember, the sign is just only 2. In each of these options, here we got 3 of the sign. But in the answer, we have only two. Hence, our answer from the options is E. Let's consider the shortcut method. We are going to treat this as a separate chain rule. But here is of one inner function. Differentiating this, we are going to have exponential x. Differentiating sine, we're going to have cos, then 
will recopy back this, which is exponential x. We differentiated this and we now have this. Next, differentiate cos and you are going to get minus sign. Next, recopy back everything in the front of cos, which is sine exponential x. And this is our dy dx using the shortcut approach. And the answer is same as we obtained earlier. And we have confirmed that our answer remained E. Next, consider this question. S squared is going to be our U and in U is going to be K. Then Y is going to be exponential K. Next, differentiate X squared and you're going to get 2X. Next, Differentiate the natural log of u and you are going to get 1 over u. Next, differentiate exponential k and you are going to get exponential k. Next, we are going to multiply our results according to chain rule formula with double inner functions. Next, x, we take away one of the x in the x squared. This is our dy dx. From the options, our answer is C. Let's use the shortcut method. Let's recap. If you're given y is equal to the natural log of x squared, our dy dx will be differentiate x squared and you're going to get 2x. Next, Recopy back the s squared at the denominator without the natural log. And our answer is 2 over x. Because this x will take away one of the x. Hence, to solve the dy dx of this using the shortcut method, first, I'm going to differentiate this. And my answer will be 2 over x which we have already done here next differentiate exponential and you're going to get exponential next recopy back everything which is natural log of s squared and this is our dy dx using the shortcut method our answer still remains c this is calculus. In the next video, we are going to consider implicit differentiation. These are recommended video topics in differentiation and also some suggested video topics in integration including their applications including precalculus video topics to locate all these videos follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video